Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, could take on a key role before they are expected to do so by law, a royal commentator has suggested. The British monarch traditionally counts five councillors of state who step up and undertake the official duties of the sovereign on a temporary basis due to illness or absence abroad. The people traditionally appointed are the monarch's spouse and the next four people in the line of succession who are over the age of 21. Following the death of Prince Philip in April, the Queen can currently count Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince Harry and Prince Andrew as her councillors of state. In the wake of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to step down as senior royals and the Duke of York's legal woes, reports have claimed Buckingham Palace is considering ways to remove Harry and Andrew as councillors. If the pair were successfully removed, by law they would be automatically replaced by the next people aged over 21 in the line of succession to the throne, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Much like Harry and Andrew, the princesses are not working royal. But one royal watcher has suggested there could be another solution to provide more support to the Queen by adding a fifth councillor without removing Andrew and Harry for the time being. Royal blogger Gertrude Daly, the host of Gert's Royal Podcast, believes there could be the option to add Camilla, currently the heir apparent's consort, who would take on the role anyway in a few years when Prince Charles becomes king. This would set a precedent for Kate to also be added as councillor during the future reign of Charles, when she will be the Princess of Wales and future Queen Consort. Ms. Daly told the Daily Star, if they did want to add someone to the councillors of state, what may be easier than removing Prince Andrew and Prince Harry, is to include the heir apparent's spouse as a councillors of state. Since Duchess Camilla is already going to be added, during Prince Charles's reign, it could make sense to add her now. This would also set a precedence so that Duchess Kate could be added during Prince Charles' reign, as the then heir apparent's spouse. Among the duties of councillors of state, there are attending privy council meetings, signing routine documents and receiving the credentials of new ambassadors to the United Kingdom. But a number of constitutional functions normally remains in the hands of the sovereign. These include Commonwealth matters, the dissolving of Parliament, the creation of peers and appointing a Prime Minister. The Queen, who is turning 96 in April, still carries out all her duties as a sovereign. She continued to do so even over the past few months, after she was advised by her medical team to rest for a period of time due to an undisclosed health concern. Since October 20, the monarch hasn't taken part in any royal engagement outside the palace walls. But she has regularly held virtual and in-person audiences, dealt with the government's red boxes and hosted the weekly meetings with the Prime Minister. She also recorded a speech addressing diplomats and heads of state at COP26 in November as well as another video message to the country aired on Christmas Day. The monarch has yet to carry out an engagement this year. But she is carrying out her duties as a monarch and has already made her voice heard in a message she sent to mark the centenary of the first successful insulin treatment. Last week, the Queen sent a message to Diabetes UK, an organization of which she has been a patron since 1952. After sending her good wishes to people living with diabetes, the monarch wrote, This milestone provides an opportunity to celebrate this breakthrough that continues to improve the lives of people living with diabetes around the world. I extend my thanks for the ongoing hard work and dedication of the scientific, medical and research communities, who work tirelessly to further advance their understanding of the condition. As patron of Diabetes UK, I send my greetings to all staff and volunteers, and hope that the discovery is yet to come bring you ever closer to achieving your vision of a world where diabetes can do no harm.